A great stretch of weather looks to continue for the end of the work week. Plenty of sunshine for our Friday. As we head into tonight, we'll track the chance for some showers. And then for the weekend, we track even warmer temperatures. A hint of spring as we wrap up the final weekend of February. But this morning, it is cold. You know, when we have clear skies and calm winds, that really allows those temperatures to drop. Without cloud cover, all that heat that we accumulated yesterday just escaped out to outer space. And the result was a pretty cold night. And this morning we are waking up to the 20s, 24 the current temperature in Lima. It's 27 in Van Wert, 24 in Finley. And the cold spot right now, Defiance, you're checking in at 17 degrees. A very light breeze this morning out of the east, about 5 miles per hour. And that wind has stayed up just a little bit more than we thought, which has really uh, kept the fog from really being able to form. So we're not seeing much fog out there. Skies are nice and clear. So we're going to see a great sunrise, sunrise at 7.15 this morning, and we'll have plenty of that sunshine throughout the day today. A few clouds will start to roll in late this afternoon. There's a front to our south, uh, some very heavy rainfall across parts of Tennessee, through parts of Mississippi and Arkansas. And this front is going to bring some very heavy rainfall this weekend across parts of the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley. As you can see, most of the rain this, through the next several days stays down to our south. This is through Sunday night, showing only a tenth inch or so locally, and you head down towards Cincinnati, and towards Louisville along the Ohio River, they could see possibly one to three inches of that rain. So again, for us, it's just a minor uh, issue at times with that rain chance this weekend. You can see for today, though, plenty of sunshine. And even though we're so cold right now, we're going to warm up nicely. It looks like this afternoon, well into the 40s, light winds and lots of sunshine. So it will be a great day to get outside, maybe go for a walk. Just enjoy another great day out there. Changes do work in tonight. So if you have evening plans by 9 p.m., we have showers working in across the area, and we should be just warm enough that we're just talking rain. Temperatures actually look to rise later on tonight back into the lower 40s. If you're up early Saturday, we will be continuing with a few showers at 6 o'clock in the morning. Showers should exit by 8 to 9 tomorrow morning, and then the rest of the day looks dry. We'll have a few peaks of sunshine by the afternoon, and temperatures will warm up as well, nearing that 50-degree mark by Saturday afternoon. So we'll get a break in the rain most of the day tomorrow, and then late tomorrow night, we'll see another wave of low pressure along that front. We'll see scattered showers locally, a little more widespread rain that stays just to our south. But I think we'll wake up to a few showers on Sunday morning and even Sunday afternoon, still a few showers here and there. So we'll have to dodge a few raindrops throughout the day on Sunday. But despite the rain, temperatures will be nice and warm. And then we'll see that front start to shift south by Sunday night. We'll see sunshine by Monday and some windy conditions as well. Your forecast today, 45 with partly to mostly sunny skies. It's going to be a great afternoon. Tonight we'll see those scattered showers, but those quickly exit tomorrow. And we'll see a high of 50 degrees, 58 for Sunday. So a very mild day for this time of year. And we'll usher in March with rather quiet weather. And we'll have temperatures next week starting off in the 40s.